I've been fortunate enough to work with some of the great teachers of this game. One such teacher is Steve Dawson, who introduced me to a fantastic drill to help with your mid-court game. The drill is called One Step Back, and it provides players with some easy progressions to master one of the most difficult areas of the court, the transition zone. Let's take a look. The objective is to improve dinks and dink volleys from every depth of the court. You'll need a handful of balls, a couple of players, two paddles, and a pickleball court. Both players start at the kitchen line on one half of the court with one player, player A, assuming the role of the coach. Player A will hit a dink to player B who will also play a dink. If that dink lands back in the kitchen, then they'll be instructed to take one step back. The same rule will apply for each and every dink player B hits until they reach the baseline, at which point they'll start making one step forward with each successful dink into the kitchen. Whether moving back or forward, if the player fails to hit the ball into the kitchen, then they will maintain their position until they land the shot into the kitchen. Once player B has completed two sequences of moving back and up to the kitchen, the players swap roles. The coach is allowed to either feed balls from a basket, but if they're comfortable, then it's encouraged that they continue the rally within the drill. Once both players have achieved the initial objective, then it's time to increase the difficulty level. Both players assume their original positions at the kitchen, but this time the ball is fed at a height and speed that forces the volley dink to be played. The student in the scenario must keep volley dinking into the kitchen or else be stuck in the same position. Once that player reaches the baseline, the ball is allowed to bounce. Complete the sequence twice, then swap rolls. To add a little spice to the mix, player A is allowed to play the ball in a competitive manner. The shots are no longer cooperative, now competitive. Player A looks to keep player B in position using power, spin and accuracy within one half of the court to make it as difficult as possible for player B to land the ball in the kitchen. In the first few progressions, cooperation is really important. The role of the coach has to be done with clear communication so the student knows when they need to take one step back. If needed, feed from a basket if it becomes a challenge to get the ball accurately to the student in a rally format. The volley progression is a difficult but important skill and often relies on the backhand side to make most of the shots with a firm grip pressure. Stay progressively lower as you get close to the baseline to get the best chance of good contact. A lot of people call the transition area no man's land. If you do this drill well, then you can start seeing this area for what it really is, the land of opportunity. For more information on the related skills, please check out our videos on block volleys and when to reset. I've been fortunate enough to work with, I've been fortunate enough, enough. Okay. Those aren't the droids you're looking for. Those were the droids you were looking for. <laughs> Hang on, let me do that again. Okay.